Hey guys, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hello Back, and in just a couple days, it's going to be officially winter, and that means that I have a new list of favorites to share with you guys. I have a total of five items to share with you today. Surprisingly, none of them beauty items. Normally, I have at least something, but I don't today. So instead, I'm going to start with my one fashion item, and it is this beautiful, colorful, striped sweatshirt from the brand Doe, and it has this absolutely gorgeous little velvet heart on the front. This sweater is so unbelievably cozy. I love how colorful it is. It makes me so happy every time I look at it, so I think it's going to be absolutely perfect for winter time. Now, this is a Target item, and they may or may not still be carrying it. So if I can't link it, of course I will below. If I can't find it from Target, I'll try to find it somewhere else. I will do my absolute best to link it down below so that if it makes you happy as well, you can pick one up for yourself. Next up, I have a snack item that has become my absolute favorite snack. And I can't just buy it from anywhere, I have to order it online, which sucks. And that seems to be the case with most things that I like. Now, I believe the snack is called Mybo. This one's crushed to crap, holy, holy cow. <laughs> And you may recognize the packaging because I've done an unboxing that had one of these in it. And I also have a second unboxing coming up that I haven't put up on my channel yet, so you can look forward to that. But every time I get these in my subscription boxes, they're always so delicious, whatever flavor I get. So I decided finally that I just need to buy a variety pack of them. <laughs> so I bought a pack of 50. I think there's 11 different flavors in here. They're so good. I had Jordan try one because he hasn't tried one yet. And he thought they were delicious. It is a corn puff. It comes in a round stick and there's all kinds of different savory flavors. I love savory snacks, so these are absolutely perfect and they're just the right size. So when I'm craving something a little salty, it's so great that I can just grab one of these and satisfy my craving. My third favorite item for the season is a phone app that is meant for self-improvement. The app is called Fabulous, and I had saw an ad for it, and I was very curious how it worked because it looked very interesting, it looked very helpful. So I downloaded it, and I will say they are very pushy about buying their full app, which it is only $30 a year, so I mean it's not awful. But the more I got into it, the more helpful it actually got. So you start out by taking a small quiz, and it asks you different questions about your current habits, things that you like, things that you don't like, and what you would like to improve in your life. And then from there, it sets you very small, very achievable daily goals. So for me, I said that I wanted to work on having more energy. So the very first goal that it gave me was first thing in the morning to drink a huge glass of water. So it asked me what time I normally wake up, and then it just sent a very gentle, non-intrusive reminder at the time that I wake up. Really great because it does have an endless snooze button, so if it's like the weekend and you want to sleep for another half hour or so, you can just hit snooze. But then as soon as you're ready, you tell it that you did whatever task it asked you to, and it congratulates you, and you move on to the next day. And like, the goals are so small, they're so simple, and then they progressively get not necessarily harder, but it just kind of adds on more small daily habits at a time. So now that I've done my daily water intake, now it's like, do your daily water intake, but now add a very healthy, balanced breakfast. This app is very customizable, it's very simple, it's very easy, and it just kind of helps you create your own good habits. The fourth item on my list this season is a video game. Can you guess what it is? Do you know? Of course, it is the new Pokemon game. So this was an early Christmas present from Jordan to me, and it is so great. It is such a great addition to the series. The graphics are absolutely stunning. The whole adventure is just different enough to be new and exciting. And I think it's really great because they added in a wild area now, which has Pokemon ranging from level eight all the way to level 50, and you're never really sure what level you're gonna run into. It's a very interesting concept that I've really been enjoying. They've changed up how they do their gym challenge now, so it's a bit more of a spectacle, and it's a lot of fun. It's really cute, and I've always, always been a fan of Pokemon. 
So no matter how old I get, I am always going to be geeked out over the next newest Pokemon game. Always. Forever. Always. And the last item on my list is a TV show on Netflix that Jordan makes fun of me for. And it's a K-drama called Bring It On Ghost. So it's all in Korean, of course it's subtitled, but it is so freaking cute and I can't stand it. It's very corny, it's so cheesy, <laughs> but it's so cute! The main character is a college kid named Bung Paul, and he is able to see ghosts, but not only can he see ghosts, but he exercises them by fighting them. So he beats up ghosts, and towards the beginning he ends up running into a young female ghost called Hyungji, who is so cute and so sassy. And they have this huge big battle, and then afterwards, in the end, they end up teaming up, so they fight other ghosts together. And their whole relationship is so stinking cute. Of course it ends up getting romantic because you can't have a male character or a female character in any kind of show without something romantic happening. <laughs> but it's cute. It's really cute. And all their supporting characters are so funny and it's a really good show, okay? <laughs> so again, it's called Bring It On Ghost. Look it up on Netflix. Do it. Do it. Alright guys, but those are all of my favorite items that I had to share with you for the winter months. I really hope you enjoyed. If there's anything that you've been enjoying that you think I would also enjoy, please let me know down in the comments. I love trying new things. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please leave me a thumbs up. I love seeing those. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe to my channel. At this point in time, I only need two more. Two more subscribers and we hit 100 and that is so fantastic. We are so close. We are so close. And I want so badly to hit 100 before the end of this year and we can do it. I know we can do it. We can do it. Anyway, guys, <laughs> that being said, I will see you the next time around.